Hi guys, welcome to another buzzing walkabout here on Buzzing Patea. And uh, today's walkabout, I'm at the Padia Klang Soy Bacow area, and I'm gonna head into Soy Bacow and just have a wander down a, a little way just to see what's going on. Uh, but today's chat is about where is the best massage here in Patea, and also how do you know where the massage is gonna end up in terms of, are you coming out with a smile or are you coming out feeling relaxed and uh, just, you know, there's a great massage. And uh, the question was asked to me about how you would know where the direction of this massage is going. And I thought, well, let's have a walk around. And uh, what I'll ask is you guys, if you do have any recommendations, any places that you know that is definitely a good place for a, a happy ending, please drop a comment below. And uh, any experiences, you know, share a like. It's always a bit of fun to uh, share your stories where it may have gone well, or it may have gone a bit uh, pear-shaped. All right, so. I'm at the Padia Klang Soy Bacow area. I'm gonna head down now. The first part here, trust me guys, you don't wanna have a smile on your face when you come out of this first part. So uh, I will get a lot of hellos and all the rest of it, but uh, let's just go through and we're gonna talk about where and how I perceive that I know where the massage will go before I walk in through the door. All right, let's just turn the camera around. All right. So let's have a wander down. So I guess the first thing has to be that uh, you need to be aware of is location. There's a lot of locations here that are very obvious to you that you're gonna get the massage you're looking for. And there's locations like I am here now where perhaps we don't want that to happen. So uh, if you go to somewhere like Soy Pothole or Soy Honey, you know, these are the kind of places where you're pretty much guaranteed the, the massage aspect is probably the least important part of why they want you to come inside. However, having said that, there are places like where I am now, and we'll just have a wander around. Um, sorry, Cap. Bye now, Cap. Tini Cap. Okay. Margaret, I'm Okay. Okay, Cap. Cap, I'm up. And uh, there are places like here where, in all fairness, as I would say, just keep on walking if that's what you're looking for. Anyway, uh, hello, hello. <laughs> All right, so, so yeah, so location. Location of where you're going for the massage is vitally important and a huge indication as to what kind of massage you are going to get. The next thing you want to look at is the style of the shop. You know, if it's a very well put together shop, it's got a nice frontage, there's lots of uh, seats, etc., downstairs and there's beds downstairs chances are perhaps you're not going to get what you're looking for for the simple fact being is you don't want to be laying on a bed in the middle of a uh, of a shop on the ground floor with everybody around you and uh, be experiencing those kind of uh, endings well at least i hope you don't anyway i know it's not my cup of tea so again you know be thoughtful when you walk through the door when you're stood outside as to how the massage place looks and what kind of, I know it's gonna sound daft, but look at how the, the girls dress. If they're wrapped up in their proper Thai traditional massage outfits, well, the chances are that's where they're gonna end up. So you need to be aware of those kind of situations and just kind of like balance the books a little bit. What location am I in? What kind of shop is it? How are they dressed? These are all indicators as to what style of massage is probably in front of you. And also, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm sure many of you there watching this video will say, well, actually, no, you know, I've been into a, a massage place hello. that was, hello, hello. Um, you know, many of you have been into a massage place that probably is upmarket, looks really smart, etc., etc. And lo and behold, before you know it, before the end, you're smiling your head off. So I'm not saying it's a given, but I'm just saying to you that it's a strong possibility. So, you know, just be very careful about what you're doing and where you're going in terms of uh, the presentation. And just changing the subject quickly. Some of you guys have been asking me about the marquee bar. There you go, it's open. The marquee bar is open. Great news, really good. All right, so I want you now to picture the massage. You're in the uh, massage parlor, you're laying down and the massage begins. Hello buddy, how you doing? Well, it's not rocket science to work out 
if they've got a bit of a wandering hand problem as to where they want to drive this direction of the massage. So the touchy-feely kind of, oh, sorry, did I just do that? All those kind of indications are pure signs that that is where they want this to end up. So again, you know, just look at the direction the massage is going. Another one quickly down there, guys, the local. Go and say hello to Phil, lovely guy, really nice guy. Ex-manager of Bailey's that used to be down on Soy 7 in Beach Road. Really nice guy. Um, so yeah, so have a think about the signs. Uh, let's just cross over, yep. You know, when you're getting the massage, just kind of think about how things are progressing. Did she accidentally just slip her hand and maybe shouldn't have done, you know, the kind of score them. Hello. How are you girls, you okay? Have many customers today? Not have? Oh, no. You can't have me, darling, I'm, I'm taken. But maybe the people watching this video will come and say hello to you. All right, thank you, have a lovely day. Bye-bye now, bye-bye. How nice. All right, so, um, where were we? She threw me then, bless her. Uh, oh yeah, we were talking about wandering hand trouble. So again, you know, just be aware of the signals, aware of the signs. It all kind of like leads into the general directions to where this will end. All right, now, just look across the road there, there's Archon, and here's the other Archon here. I'll be careful because people are drinking here, so I don't want to expose them. But this is the other Archon, and they've got a great promotion that uh, all day promotion, and it's, uh, where is it, I saw it, yeah, Sangsom is 25 baht. Sangsom all day and all night, 25 baht. I mean, oh my Lord. Anyway, so, where were we? So you've had the wandering hands, you've had all that. Guys, when you roll over, she'll make it clear, don't worry. It's very, very obvious. And if, for whatever reason, she doesn't, and it's very unlikely, but if she doesn't, just take the bull by the horns, excuse the, uh, excuse the phrase, and just ask, you know, just tell her. Prices, well, I don't know guys, you know, maybe you can drop your comments below as to what you paid in the past, but normally 500 baht, 1000 baht maximum, and you, you're good to go and away you go. So uh, there you go, that's that part. Now, what you can also get as well is you might want to ask the girl if you like her a lot and think, do you know what, I'd like to get to know this girl. Ask to meet her after work. You know, they're more than happy, quite a lot of them, to come and meet you and, uh, you know, arrange to finish, when they finish work to go and see them, go out, have your fun, enjoy yourself, etc., etc. Okay, so. We're heading down into Soiba Cow now. That's pretty much as much information as I can give you, really, in terms of the massages and where they end up, etc. So uh, I'm going to walk around, just turn around, and head back up towards where I parked. Uh, let's just spin it back around, go across the other side. Beautiful day today, absolutely not a cloud in the sky. In fact, let me just pan up. Here you go, look at this. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. All right, guys, so let's just recap quickly. Firstly, location. You know, make sure you're in the right location. Soy pothole, soy honey, soy 13.2, soy 13.1, all around that area, absolute givens. And uh, I would say you've got a 99% chance that's exactly where you're gonna end up. So location, number one. Number two, style of the shop. If it's a bit of a closed shop, and uh, it's not a big fancy place. Again, great opportunity and very strong possibility that that's where it will end up. The way they dress. If they've got the traditional tie outfits on, chances are perhaps not what you're looking for. So, you know, just look at those key indicators. When the massage is taking place, you know, some of them will put a towel across you. That is also another indicator that perhaps you're not gonna end where you wanna end. So, you know, be thoughtful of these kind of signals and signs, and hopefully, what I've told you here will avoid you any embarrassing situations. And if you guys, please, if you're watching this, as always, drop your comments below. You know, if you've got some good little haunts that you wanna share, maybe you wanna share the love, kind of speaking, then uh, please 
drop your comment below let us know where you've been to that you've had an enjoyable and very relaxing massage all right guys now i'm just going to head back a bit further back up oh it's lovely today incidentally if you want a good haircut this barber here hello i'm okay thank you don uh, this barber's here hello, hello. oh hello. there you go how are you i'm you i'm i'm gonna go back to my motorbike what's the okay. bike way over there don just up there okay are you, are you okay cool, cool. <laughs> okay thank you but in here this is a really good place to go for a haircut i've been there many many times you want haircut now? well my hair is a bit long today what do you reckon shave, shave? Yes, oh my shave. lord what, what are you going to shave? Just my head? Shave it, bed, bed. Oh my lord. Up. Oh, okay. Yeah, not down that up. looks uh, not down up. Yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> Have a great day. Have a great day. Bless her. I love it. I love it. So nice. All right, so uh, yeah, but that's a really good place to go to for a haircut. Right on the corner of Soiba Cow near oh, Archon, the one that's now closed okay so let's keep heading up oh sorry you want to go past there you go damn anyway uh, where are we oh, i lost my line of thought then all right so we are nearly done and also just before i go at the time i'm making this video there is a strong indication now a very strong indication and the good news is is that perhaps perhaps they are going to reduce the quarantine for those of you who have already had your vaccinations, which I have to say is absolutely brilliant. If they do do it, what an incredible step forward for us. And hopefully it will be an answer to our prayers because we are in much need of people to come here. So good news guys, if it's true, fingers crossed, but if it is true, then uh, there's a strong indication you might just be getting on an aeroplane sooner than we thought. I predicted quarter three, but uh, I don't know. If it's earlier, happy days. If it's later, oh, not good. All right, so here we go. Let me just stand over here, turn the camera around, and then we'll finish off. Okay, guys, so that's it for me today. Another buzzing walkabout. And I uh, hope you enjoyed having a little look around. And please remember, you know, if you do know places you want to share, drop a comment below. Maybe you've got some funny stories, some funny experiences you don't mind sharing and uh, where it may have gone a bit pear-shaped. You know, please, it's what makes this channel more and more fun is the sharing and the experiences that you guys have had. And likewise, if you do know somewhere that you think, you know what, well, that's a really good place, again, please drop a comment below. Let us know where is a good place to go. All right, guys, so that's it for me today here on Buzzing About Town. Sorry, not Buzzing Walkabout. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please, guys, remember hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. Don't forget, check out our members area. It's great. There's lots of little goodies in there. And join our Telegram group. There's loads and loads of people joining. It really is fantastic. All right, that's it for me. Thanks ever so much for watching. And please, guys, wherever you are in the world, stay safe.